2014 was a year filled with really good ideas for video games, grand stories, grand adventures, stuff to make us excited and want to buy a next generation console. But when those games finally came out, they were really big letdowns. A lot of people were angry with the gaming industry of 2014. Hopefully this year will do so much better. It's already starting off with great, great games. So. In this video, I'm going to talk about all of the games that I noticed were really big letdowns for a lot of other people, namely not me. I actually liked all of these games that I'm about to talk about, except one, and you'll you'll know what that is when I talk about it. Uh, but yes, a lot of people were let down, so let's get started. The first game that I really want to talk about that really sort of let me down and everyone else that played it, I guess, is Destiny. Destiny is a super ambitious game. Um, it has reportedly the most, the, the biggest budget in gaming history to work on, 500 million dollars. That's more than Grand Theft Auto V, and that, to me that's ridiculous. Like that's half a billion dollars. That's half a billion dollars on one game. That's ridiculous. Uh, and what they came out with was like maybe a 250 million dollar job. Like half of that money went to the game, and the other half they like pocketed it or put that towards advertising and DLC. I don't know what they did with it. Bungie, I love you guys. Like, I don't play your games except Destiny. I did not like Halo. I really don't like Halo at all. But I can, I can say, I can say good job. Like, you have made one of the greatest first person shooter genres, genre games of all time. Like, you basically created the first person shooter genre with, with Halo. Um, but, you know, you revolutionized it. You put it on the map with Xbox. You launched Xbox Live with Halo 2. Like, that's something to be reckoned with. Um, but Destiny was, was more of a, a test run for what more this universe can hold. I mean, it's set in our universe, the Milky Way Galaxy. There's Mars, there's Venus, there's Earth, there's the Moon, there's solar systems, I don't know. But you can interstellar travel to these different planets. Um, but there, when you get to those planets, they have massive set pieces. They have things that we see in the distance that we can't get to. And I hate that. I want to get to that mountain that looks like there's a compound on there. I want to explore that compound on that mountain. I want to find some alien species to fight. I want to find different relics. I want to be able to go into ancient alien temples and escape with my life, you know, scared out of my mind. I wanted to do that. And that's what I think No Man's Sky is going to do, but that's in a whole other video. Um, so yeah, Destiny, I, not just to me, but a lot of other people were really just let down from it. Um, I still play it. I actually like it a lot, um, but it just wasn't as grand as I thought it was going to be. Me and my friend EK the Dream, he's been on a couple of my videos. Me and him were talking about it. We're like, Destiny is going to be the game we're going to tell our grandkids about. We're going to make... We're gonna make up stories to them, and, and it's all gonna be our destiny adventures. And I was like, "Yeah, man, this this game's gonna be awesome." But when we played it, it was like the same mission after another, after another, and it was kind of a letdown. Hopefully, with Destiny 2, because they are making this a 10-year franchise, so it's gonna be here for a while, guys. Hopefully, with Destiny 2, there will be a lot of more improvements with the multiplayer, with the story itself. Destiny really didn't have a story at all. It was more just go do this, go kill our enemies, and then oh yeah, the traveler. Thank you. Here's a mode of light. I don't know. So hopefully with Destiny 2, it will be so much better. Um, Bungie, you have some, <laughs> you have some work to do for the sequel. You have some work to do. So now that Destiny is out of the way, let's get let's get to another game that not just was a letdown, but was filled with bugs, and that was Assassin's Creed Unity. I myself, I love Assassin's Creed. It is one of my favorite game series of all time. I'm a huge fan. It's in my top five game series of all time. But with Unity. I think the problem that was with it was the story. The story itself was good, but it could have been it could have been written way better. Like the the universe of Assassin's Creed is so unique and so full of mystery and violence and intensity that Desmond Miles now that he's gone, no one really has his no one's really filling his shoes. We're really just getting these random drone guys who are getting animuses like Xbox Ones and playing games. I don't know who the hell I'm playing as. The game has totally taken out the real world, real world aspect, and just put ourselves in the animus. And I, I, I like that. I, when I first saw the first official trailer for Assassin's Creed, the first game, I thought it was just you in the Crusades. But when it came out, it blew everyone away that you were playing as a guy in the real world, basically going into the Matrix. It was ridiculous. But now they're sort of going back to only the animus, nothing in the real world. So they could have worked on a better story. Uh, I like the story myself but they could have worked on a better one. 
And then another thing, this game was riddled with bugs. When it first came out, it was rushed. It is a, it was 100% rushed, I will say that. Because of the end of the year, just yearly Assassin's Creed. If this game came out in like January, and they had time to work on the bugs, like it would have been way better. Like the bugs would have not affected any gameplay. I fell through the, through the ground in one of my walkthrough videos, and I was like laughing half of the time, but it was sort of a letdown because I did not want to spend my $65 on a game that uh, makes me fall through stuff and uh, makes me clip on walls. Uh, and the climbing abilities, a lot of people don't like it. They say the climbing mechanics can really need some work, to, really needs to be worked on. Um, just because uh, the ascend down and ascend up thing had a lot of problems for some people, me, not really any problems. I like the climbing up and climbing down, that's what Assassin's Creed is. And if people still keep complaining about it, why do you buy the game? Like, why do you buy the game if you don't like the way the game plays? That's just one of my personal vendettas with the game and why people complain about it and why it's not good. You should never bag on Assassin's Creed for the way the, the, the controls work. They're really good controls. Like, the fighting mechanics probably could use a, a touch up here and there, but the climbing controls were fine. Especially in Unity. They made it way advanced than, than Rogue and Black Flag. Way advanced. Um, but yeah, Assassin's Creed Unity was one of those other games that kind of let down a lot of other people. Uh, but the one big game that, and this is the final game I'll talk about, the one huge game that really let me down was Titanfall. Titanfall was a really super ambitious game. The game to end t Call of Duty Tyranny and just grab the first person, first place spot of all time, but it really fell through the cracks. I think Titanfall had a really good idea. And I think what made it fall through the cracks was the lack of a story mode. I was really hoping for a super crazy story mode in this super, in this futuristic world with mechs and bad guys and terrorists. I wanted to know why we had these mechs and why there was aliens on this planet. I don't know. I don't know and I want to know. And that that missing element of a story it was it was a huge it was a huge let down to me um, and the th and the fact here this is the this is the thing that kills me I only played Titanfall for three freaking weeks three freaking weeks and that's it all my other friends played it every now and then but I just couldn't play it anymore like all my other friends were busy with their jobs and and their lives but me I was um, I was like I was trying to play it but then no one was on like none of my friends were on we were all busy with other stuff I was busy with other stuff they were busy and when we did play together, we played like other games. We played Call of Duty, or we played Battlefield. Um, and to speak of the first person shooter genre, it's, it's dying. <laughs> I mean, and Titanfall, it was super ambitious, um, but I think I played most of it in the beta. Like, I literally played the alpha and the beta. So much of it was in that beta. I will talk about that in, in another video. Betas are really ruining the experience for games for me. But like I said, I'll talk about that in another video. But yeah, Titanfall was a really big letdown. Um, and just to just to ramp up this video or end it right here, I want to say this: the gaming industry is they they have some 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 wounds to close this year. They they need a couple of good games to make up for last year. And I will say this: Evolve is great. Dying Light is great. It is a really good year. It's a really good start for 2015. I want to hear some good gaming announcements this year. I want I want Tom Clancy's The Division. That's the game that I'm really hoping does not let me down. I want that game to be really, really good. I have faith in it. And after Assassin's Creed Unity and even Watch Dogs, a lot of people thought Watch Dogs was a letdown. I really hope that Ubisoft brings their A game for 2015. So that's about it, everyone. Let me know in the comments if any of these games that I talked about really ticked you the wrong way and, and made you really regret you buying them. Because to me, I know for a fact that I, I wasn't regretting buying these games. I got them, I played them with my friends, I had my $65 worth out of all of them, and I, I, you know, I, I will never trade that for anything else. But, the, everything else that was in the game, the $65 mark, it was, it was kind of, it was kind of too much. Uh, it was kind of like, they let, they let a really big fan down. So yes, thank you so much for watching everyone, let me know in the comments, like I said, what did you think? And that's about it. This is sort of a new video for me. Me telling you my my feelings. Me telling you what I really think about the games that really came out. And um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see more. And you know what to do. Hit like and subscribe for more gameplay videos. And more of my feeling videos as I upload them. But until then, go watch my Evolve 
part one video. It's pretty cool. And um, go watch more Dying Light. Dying Light is so good. I'm, I'm loving that game. I really want to do a review, but usually when I say that, I don't do them. So um, I, I usually get my review when the ending pops up. So I think we're getting close to the ending too. Till next time, everyone. Peace. Stay safe. And see you next time.